What's going on, everybody? It's Childish. We're back at it again. We got ourselves the next Guild War battle for you all today, featuring Iris, the Light Magic Knight. Uh, yeah, buddy. Uh, as you guys know, I have been using this unit for quite some time in the Benchwarmer battle series, and it's now time to kick her up a notch. This is something that people have been asking for quite some time, and so it's finally time to get it done. Now, uh, this unit here has made a lot of changes and changes for the better uh, since that last monster battle. So let's take a look at our skill set here. Uh, Blade Surge, being able to attack an enemy target two times, uh, and then uh, for her last, her third hit, she's going to be able to hit all enemies. Uh, with an even more powerful attack really really nice uh, second skill here magic surge being able to hit one unit three times and then have an opportunity to uh prevent them from using skills with cooldowns for two turns on a 75 percent chance in addition to that doing 30 percent more damage if that unit doesn't even have any beneficial effects so that's really really good for adding a little extra damage if this unit is built in a tanky fashion uh, last but not least the bread and butter of this unit uh sweet revenge being able to remove a beneficial effect uh, with a 75% chance and then recovers the ally with the lowest HP by 50% when you attack on your turn. So, uh, and this skill here actually gets buffed up to 100% chance on the beneficial effect as well as a 19.5% heal uh, when this skill is max. So this is pretty darn strong. Um, of course, it only goes on her turn, but that's okay. If it was something that would go on a counterattack, I think it'd be a little too OP. That being said, you're still going to be able to get value out of using her uh, using a revenge set on her uh, to go ahead and potentially remove more beneficial effects and potentially stun your unit if you're rocking a despair set. Uh, for me right now, I'm going through a lot of changes here, trying to see what types of runes that can mix and match, but there's one thing for sure that I want to go ahead and get out there. She is a prime candidate for a despair set, and if you're lucky enough to have the runes, I really would like to see a revenge set on this unit here. So I'm running speed, HP, HP, okay? Uh, right now, despair revenge here, running 235 speed, um, with over 30k HP. Her secondary sets here are pretty weak, so I'm going to go ahead and play around with the Rune Optimizers to see what I can do to kind of buff her up a little bit. That being said, if you're looking to play around with this unit, don't be too concerned about that accuracy if your goal is to focus on getting those additional counterattacks to potentially get that AoE stun. Because Despair set, unlike other things out there, does not rely on the accuracy versus resistance check for you to get the uh, despair stun, okay? It's just a straight 25% chance across the board. So that is why this unit is very strong. Uh, today we're gonna be featuring ink guns and I'm gonna go ahead and see what I could do to take this unit versus Nightly Gaming. Shout out to Nightly Gaming one time. Uh, big supporter of the channel. I really appreciate all that you do for the community. Let's see if we can take him out. Here we go. <laughs>